Okay, so here we've got one constructed, one exploded uh, potato cannon. So, the bit one here, we've got one and a half inch piping, same as that, cut down and then tapered at one end. Sharp cut potatoes. We've got a coupling here, which has in it a reducer to go from the one and three quarter inch piping to the one and a half inch piping. Um, the book says to use three inch and two inch, but um, plum base don't stock three inch and two inch piping, so you have to go with a smaller bore. Um, on the end, the end cut is another coupling with a better end cut. So hopefully that will stick. The ignition system, after spray the hairspray into the firing chamber, this bit here, um, I've taken the piezoelectric sparker out of a barbecue lighter. Like that. 99p being q happy day um, the electrical tape is to stop myself getting shot of the uh, piece of electric lighter does like to shock me uh, we've got some screws from the electrical tape to go into the firing chamber to uh, ignite the hairspray uh, duct tape to wrap it up so it doesn't shatter and solvent cement which glues all of our joints together Book, back to the ballistics by William Cristel. Um, about a ten up, I think. Okay, what I've got the ignition system is two electrodes screwed into the firing chamber, piezoelectric sparker attached to one of the electrodes. Now, you can see. Hopefully. We can see. There you go, down to the pipe. Two electrodes. Now they spark every time. So hopefully there's one place where it can't go wrong. Okay, plenty of duct tape and electrical tape later, we have a trigger, which hopefully we can see making sparks, maybe. Anywho, uh, there's only really one thing left to do, which is have a go. Okay, so I'd love to say this was the first time and uh, only went really well in the start. Fortunately, that's not the case. It's taken me a good hour to get all really this sorted. Fingers crossed. Okay, I've switched fuels. I've got a new can of hairspray, maximum hold this time, just in case. Uh, so what I'm having to do is make sure that I mix it really well before I spray it in. Um, to go further and further, I'm using smaller pieces of potato, but making sure they've got a good uh, tight fit. Okay, here we go. Oh. 